Olympian swimmer um, Amanda, Olympian swimmer Amanda Moore uh, once noted, "I concentrate on preparing to swim my race uh, on my race and let the other swimmers think about me and not me about them." She's she's just a really smart woman if you think about it. Because once, if you think about the other person, if you're like doing your race and thinking that, oh, that person's gonna beat me, oh, that person might be faster than me, mm -hmm. then you're like, then you actually lower your standards. Swimming is all about com it's all about com competing against another person. Like my coach once told me, it's com swimming is an individual sport. It's not a team. It's an individual sport because you're it's on you. It's your own satisfaction that you're trying to, like you're trying to. You're trying to get uh, get like the better the better uh, time than everybody else, and it's true. Um, but or, or, like swimming is originated in England in 1869. In most most of the English were like, oh, you know something, let's get pools. So they started to get pools, and that's why a lot of like England has a lot of pools in their houses, the old houses. And after after the the, the process of time, they decided to make it like a. Olympic, like a professional Olympic thing. So many people, like around the world, decided that uh, swimming should be considered an Olympic sport, and that became that. Uh, today, today I will be today my speech will be ex I will be examining the culture of swimming, competitive swimming, and leisure, and leisure swimming. Specifically, the speech will analyze the use of goggles in competitive and leisure swimming. Okay, the ability. Let's let's start first with um competitive. Competitive swimming. Competitive swimming is all about your time. It's about your time, your stroke, and how well you do it. But as long as like goggles come in, goggles are an important role. Even though you, it might be some speedos. Some people might say speedos. Some people might say caps. I believe goggles are the more important because goggles are the ones that let you see underwater at all times. If you look to your left when you're taking a break, you'll be able to see the person right next to you who to see if that person is behind you or actually farther away. That that actually makes you I actually makes you think, think about you know something if that person is beating me I need to I need to push it I need to push it harder and go myself and try to be catch up with that person if you see that person to your side and you're like oh she's like, oh she's further than me okay you know something I still need to keep the same rhythm and I still need to beat her beat her or her him or her so competitive swimming is all about your individual time depends depends on your strokes depends because there's four different strokes. Freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. One of the hardest, um, one of the hardest, uh, the hardest strokes that is known to swim is backstroke. I mean, sorry, butterfly, uh, butterfly, yeah. butterfly, which is the hardest, and then comes breaststroke, backstroke, and freestyle. So, and goggles come an important role, especially on freestyle, because freestyle is all about your time and all about how how much breathe, how much breath you take per stroke. Originally, my coach would tell me, you know something, you need to take three three strokes for every 25 meters. Mm -hmm. And he will, sometimes he will say, sometimes he will say, you, need, you have to take at least one breath. So it, it's true, goggles, because once, because you, when you have your goggles, you're able to see the wall. And that makes you push harder. It makes you yourself push harder to get to that wall to take your last breath. So, second, it's, uh, second I'll, be talk, I'll be talking about leisure, uh, leisure swimming. Leisure swimming is, uh, is all about going to the beach, going to the pool, going to the lake, going anywhere you want to. And just swim for fun. When you're swimming for fun, you, you don't you don't think about like, oh, I'm gonna wear my speedos, I'm gonna wear my goggles, I'm gonna wear my cap. No, you just go, you just put you some swimming trunks and throw yourself into the lake and swim around. That's all about leisure. Like leisure doesn't specify you to be a more than more like competitive than competitive style does. I don't, I identify myself with a competitive. I identify myself with competitive swimming because I'm a competitive person. Even though like I, I may not look like it, I'm a really competitive person, and I always want to exceed my time, exceed what I go. And I got connected to swimming because of Junior Lifeguard Program. It's every summer, every summer Junior Lifeguard Program requires you to go. Well, if you want to volunteer, it requires you to go, and it swims. They train you to get your speed faster, strokes perfected, and everything. Because it once this, my teacher once said, my coach actually once said that. All about, all about is all about swimming is all about you repeating, repeating, and repeating your stroke because eventually you'll get there. Mm -hmm. So I, I talk about junior lifeguard, uh, and then my, but there's two different kinds of competitive team, teams. If you're in a, like a high school, it's not as competitive as you're in a club. Club is so competitive, and it makes you go into 
like a lot of different things. So now concluding, concluding with my thing, we have talked about like why goggles are important. Goggles makes you see clearly and it keeps you the competitive side going because goggles is able to, you're able to identify who's next to you and who's not. So and I believe goggles are important and, and hopefully you guys learn something about why I think goggles are important and about swimming. <laughs>